Now, this is a great recipe in case you're wondering what to do with all that flour you bought during lockdown. <laughs> this is uh, kind of the perfect tortilla, if you ask me. Mm. Yeah. I know I haven't cut my hair. I know I'm giving Derek Carr a run for his money. I know I look like Marv from Home Alone. <laughs> That's all right. And we're back with another recipe. This time we're doing homemade soft flour tortillas. And I know that everybody has their own way of doing it. This happens to be just a really quick, easy recipe. So nothing really long. And part of me, I have been under the weather as of late, and so my voice is a little weird, but won't stop us from cooking. Simple recipe. Now, I do this recipe, I cut it in half, mainly because uh, our family and the quantity that we eat, I mean, you could freeze them, but um, if you want to make more, uh, just double the recipe. So this will make eight tortillas, and it's perfect if you're just doing it for dinner one night or whatever. But if you double the batch, it'll make 16. And I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I have one half, I have a half cup of warm water. I'm gonna use a half of a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and then I'm doing a half of one third of vegetable oil. So I don't have a measuring device to cut a third in half. All I do is I take my measuring cup and I pour, and I fill it about halfway through. Now, if you're doing a full recipe, it's a full third cup of oil. It's a really easy recipe as long as you follow the instructions. Your tortillas will come out really soft. I made some the other day and this is uh, how they are. Like this is even a day old and it's still very pliable and flexible and it's got the nice spots on there. So um, that's what you're gonna get out of this recipe if that's the kind of tortillas you like. Um, if you like the Frisbee kind where they're stiff and you play uh, active sports with them, this is not the recipe for you. But if you want the soft flour tortillas, this is it. Um, super simple, all you're gonna do is take one third cup or one and a half cups of all purpose flour Put it inside your bowl, your mixer, and you don't have to use a mixer for this. You can do it all by hand if you want, but it's just easier if you have one. Now, if you're doing it by hand, you're just gonna keep mixing it, uh, kneading it until it all comes together. Half of a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using kosher salt here. All you're gonna do before you add your wet ingredients is just uh, bring your bowl up. And now on low, just gonna combine all of your dry ingredients together for a little bit. Just make sure it's all on low. And while it's on low, go ahead and add your water. And your oil. And you're just gonna leave it. Let it all just come together on its own. It's gonna form into a ball. I know it doesn't look like it. It looks like, oh man, it's, gonna, it's really dry. It should add more water or anything. Just don't touch it. Leave it. Use your dough hook, leave it on low. It will come together in a ball. And then you, once it does that, you need it for one minute. So if you're kneading it by hand, do you knead it until it comes all together in a ball and it has come together and it's like so. And that's fine. See, you just let it go and it comes together. Now it's warm, 
what you're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and knead it for one minute now that it's all combined together on low for a minute. You don't do it on high, just do it for low. All right, and that's it. Don't overwork your dough. This is the thing that makes it tough is if you overwork your dough, you're just doing this in a very simple way. So that's all it needs. It's come together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh it out and divide it into eight equal portions. So that's 370 grams. So about 46 grams each. So what I'll do here is you're gonna take them, you're gonna roll them into a ball and then you're gonna smash them with this cup. So, or the bottom, it just keeps it all together. So 46 grams on each of these is all I'm gonna do. So you take this, roll it in a ball. And just smash it into a circle with the cup. You can use the palm of your hand and this is what you get, a little circle like that. Put it on a keep cooking sheet. And we're gonna cover this cooking sheet with a clean towel, dish towel. All right, now the reason I weigh them out prior and get them all about the same size because the consistency really matters when you're making these. Because when you roll them out, they're gonna be seven, six to eight inches. So on average, about seven inches long or in circumference. And when you do that, they're a little thin, but they're not super thin, very pliable and everything. So they're good to roll out at this size. I found they're just the right size. Now you can make them bigger. Hmm. But this is how we do it. Now, we've just worked this dough. It's a little tough. We're gonna let it rest. And you just let it rest for, I do it for an hour. Um, the longer you let it rest, the better, but um, an hour is perfectly fine. We set a timer. Some people let it rest for 15 minutes. I don't think that's long enough. Um, they tend to come out a little bit more tough because you're gonna roll it, and once you roll it out, um, you're working it again, and then it's gonna go quick. So you wanna let it rest as much as possible. And <clears throat> we're gonna cook them on this thing. If you have a cast iron skillet, that's perfectly fine. You wanna use cast iron because it distributes the heat well. Um, I use this because it doesn't have all the edges around it, and like a pan does, like a skillet, and it's easier to work with the flipping them over and all and if you want you could get more than one on this this thing's huge you can also use it as a pizza stone but it's like cast iron it's crazy i think i i think i bought it on amazon or something like that either way um if you have a cast iron skillet use that if not and you have one of these giant things then use that all right so I have the camera angle a little low because I'm going to be rolling some tortillas right here. And because I'm doing that, I'm wearing my apron. My daughter made this for us, doing all the things. There it is. So, hey. Ah. So, I want you to be able to see me rolling. You see me rolling. And uh, so, that way you know like how I'm going to roll these out. I have another camera here on our induction cooktop. And the reason I'm using this is because when I use this to cook on or anything, it's too big for the burners here. I mean, I could get it on, but it's so large, it, it takes up too much space and I only get to use part of it. So I wanna use all of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on top. Make sure I'm not doing anything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. 
turn it up to six, so get it nice and hot. And it works well on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and use it, and I can feel it already getting nice and warm. So a couple things we gotta do to roll this out. You're gonna need some flour. And kind of what's key I like is a weighted rolling pin. And I like a weighted rolling pin because it gives a nice even smoothness. This is heavy. It's a KitchenAid, I don't know. I guess you could, you don't need it. All the abuelas out there have a wooden thing that they've been using for years. Don't break the hex if that's what you're, or don't, uh, you know, break a spell or whatever. Um, I'm using a fish flipper here to flip the tortillas. Doesn't hurt this. I know people get all crazy like, oh, you shouldn't use that. Um, I've been using it, doesn't hurt it at all. I'm not scraping the crap out of it. I'm just uh, doing a little bit. So what you need to do is, uh, you can see my, I've been letting these rest here. I only have eight of them. And what I'm gonna do is start to roll them out and cook them. And then as I'm cooking them, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap them in a, in this here, just to keep them warm. Um, so you wanna go ahead and put a little bit of flour down on your surface, your work surface. No, no that's too much. So I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. It just keeps some flour handy. And then you also want to flour your rolling pin as well because it'll keep it from sticking. Now this rolling pin is kinda fancy, has a non-stick, uh, surface on it but with dough it still sticks so I'm just gonna go ahead and be safe anyway put the flour on both sides you don't need too much and then what you want to do is roll it out but people go crazy when they start they start like pressing down right away and that's just not it you just go a little bit and that's why I like a weighted pin because it kind of starts to roll it out and you just start to shape it into a circle um, the weighted rolling pin does a lot of work for you. And then you can press it down. And like I said, we're going for like six to eight inches here. Um, get them in the thickness that you so desire. I'm not a expert in rolling tortillas because as you can see, they're not perfectly round, but um, that's it really. I get them like so and that's about as thin as I get them. There's a lot of excess flour. I'll go ahead and take it off. Take some of it off. You don't need it like it's gonna cook or anything. And uh, basically I'm doing these like one at a time. So once my top part is warm enough, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw that on there. That go. I should remember, you should probably cover these while they're cooking. And these only cook for like a minute or so on each side. You'll start to see it brown and bubble. So I usually will just go ahead and start rolling out another one while that's cooking. And I keep an eye on it because it'll start to bubble up top. And that means it's getting ready to be done. We start to see these bubbles coming up here. It's a good sign. It takes about a minute one side and uh, maybe not so much on the other side, maybe 45 seconds or so. But it's enough time to roll out another tortilla. Again, I'm not pressing very hard. I'm using the weighted pin to do that. He starts to see the bubbles come up, just take it and flip it over and let it go, it could probably use a little bit more. But, eh. What I'll usually do is I get another one ready. Well, that's going a little more flour. That's it. All right, see those bubbles going? And that's really it. I'm going, I might just flip it. I'm not the best at cooking these, but you'll see some of the steam coming out, like it's making it. And then I have this towel I'm gonna to keep over here so that when they're ready, I'll just 
put them inside. All right, and this one looks done. Yeah, it's nice golden brown on there. I'm gonna do that other side just a hair longer. A bit longer, I should say. You like these brown spots on them. And uh, that's all you're doing. And that's it, really. Throw it on there. Wrap it, and you're done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one up there. Get it going. Start to roll this other one out. All right, well, this last one's going. <clears throat> you can see that was fairly quick and they're all in here and I keep them in this towel. I keep them in a, wrapped up in a towel until it's, they're cooled down and then I'll go ahead and put them in this bag. And they cool down pr fairly rapidly, like they're nice and warm right now. But um, you can make as many as you want. And as you can see, this one out here. There, the texture of these is they're nice. Yeah, and they keep this way. So once you're done making them and you store them, when you pull, you just put them in a Ziploc bag after they've cooled down, throw them in a Ziploc bag. And that's pretty much it. Here we go. Turn that off. All right. This thing is hot. So I'm gonna take it off and just set it aside for a second so that this can cool down and this can cool down. Everything can cool down. See how quick that was? Just a few minutes. I have eight tortillas here and they're pliable and soft and delicious. Uh, just the right amount of salt and everything, they come out really well. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in this Ziploc bag for storage. But I guess for the video, I should eat one. I'm gonna leave the bag open for a second, but for the video's sake, I remember growing up I'd come home and just about every day my mom was making fresh tortillas and I'd get home from school and the first thing we'd do is just like, mm. go eat fresh tortillas that were warm. Now, this is growing up in Albuquerque, I don't know. Maybe you all have a different childhood or memory of tortillas, but this is my greatest memory. Coming home from school, getting some fresh tortillas. They're nice and soft like this and uh, just delicious. And we just um, eat these, we'd have them after school for snacks and then for dinner later. There's nothing like fresh tortillas. They're so amazing. And once you make them this way, 
You'll never make them other ways. <laughs> Once you start making things fresh, it's hard to get things from the store and buy them from the store and be like, ah, oh, I gotta get store-bought stuff. Like once you eat fresh ingredients and you're making it, like it's just so much better and delicious. So give it a shot. Mm. There's like some crunchiness going on in there with some of the brown parts and stuff, but it's still very like flexible, soft. I don't know, texture's perfect, so. Mm. That's it. Homemade soft flour tortillas. Simple, easy. The trick is just don't overwork the dough. Let it rest long enough for you to make these and roll it out. Don't go crazy when you're rolling it out. Don't overwork the dough when you're rolling. Just roll it out and throw it on there. And uh, they don't have to be perfect circles. You'll, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you get notified when we create and put new content out there. Make sure you visit our blog, doingallthings.com forward slash blog, and leave a comment below. Tell us if you try these or maybe what your tortilla recipe is, and uh, maybe we'll give them a shot. Um, so give it a try. Let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I might have to make sopapillas next because mm, 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 mm. just toasty. Stay, toasty. stay toasty, my friends. Ah, mm, 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 mm. this is delicious. We'll see you next time. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs>